What's going on everyone? It's your boy Tacky or here and before we start with Phasmophobia's weekly I just want to say to all the Irish people out there. Happy St. Patrick's Day If you aren't Irish, I'd like to say happy St. Patrick's Day to you as well Because it doesn't matter if you're Irish for this holiday and that's the beauty of it So I sure hope you all enjoyed the holiday, but here we go into the weekly survival of the fittest You've got no pills No sanity and no evidence to work with it's gonna be a tough one and this one is on 42 edgefield road now this one's gonna be a nightmare for me because this is what i'm trying to get better at and i absolutely suck at it but without further ado here we go uh, salt 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 here we go Much. Oop. It's gonna be a right goo trap right here. Or why not? If we can piss some ghosts off. Set up right here. Got a smudge and a sensor. Smudge, sensor. Super fast. Still coming. Okay. Ghost is done. Walk through salt. Not a Raikou. Not a Wraith Phantom. Banshee or Shade. Alright, so it could be a Rev. Society slows down. I think it could be a rev. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. What's the worst that happens? I'm wrong and I start again. Really? I'm okay with that. It's been happening a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, it's a revenant. That's number one. That one we figured out relatively good, so we'll keep that one in the in the books there. Man, this challenge is difficult though. So keep your head up and, and keep grinding on it. That's only one. 
I got two more to go. Get the salt out. Light on. Come on. One, two. Phantom. Phantom. There we go. That's two relatively phantoms actually easy to identify on that loop thing. I can typically tell a phantom not because of how long it blinks out, but because I don't know where it is. Just, just give me an easy one. Make it a wraith, please. Make it a wraith. trap right there here we go curious parabolic mic um, let's just do this for me i'm gonna go pulty because it was tossing some stuff hopefully guys i'm so glad i'm so glad that one's over <sighs> so there you go that's the weekly challenge now i died a lot and a lot a lot which is to the point where i'm trying to get better at doing this stuff but there's only certain ghost types that i know um, so having a keen ear is very important. I will tell you though, the ghost types that I did know, I was kind of able to pick out on this one. It was the ghost types that I didn't know were the ones that got me in trouble. And yes, the game of course threw a mimic at me at one point and I thought it was twins, but then I realized that there was a potential that it could have just mimicked the twins. Um, but there's that event for you guys. I, I gotta admit, I hated this event, but I also liked it because it tested those skills and it let me learn or at least test my knowledge of what I learned about the ghost already. So that's my weekly challenge for you. Hopefully you guys have a better time at it than I do. Um, I would say just go in there, try to remember the ghost that you know, lay stuff out, test the theory. After you burn through your smudge sticks, take a guess and then get out and start it all over again. Um, because chances are you're probably going to be better off doing it that way. Ah, but you guys take care and get to hunting some ghosts. <laughs> 51,000, that's not too shabby though. Uh, and 91, it's only a matter of time before I prestige. <laughs>